Welcome back into Talking Venturer. Joining me this afternoon, the one, the only, Tony King. The uh, King. That's me. Tony, how you doing? I'm really well, Jeremy. How are you? I'm doing fantastic, fantastic. Can you believe it's September already? Uh, yeah, that's crazy. This but, went really fast. But it's your favorite time of year, isn't it? Um, it's a little stressful, but football season, I feel like football, it's so crazy, man. We have so many teams, so much stuff going on. And then I have referee meetings, all that stuff, but... I'm, I look forward to it, too, because it's a lot of fun to get out there. Do you put on it's the stripes just... ever? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Probably, I don't know, five, six times during the season. I'll be out there. Gosh. I'm out there every Saturday out at the field. Either I'm refereeing or I'm just kind of out there supervising. Wow. Yeah. Pretty impressive. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> That's Tony King. We'll take a quick... No, okay. Fine. Uh, let's uh, kick things off here with uh, fall youth soccer. You yeah. Got, uh, got a lot uh, happening here. So uh, what are we breaking this down to? Yeah, well, you know, kind of my theme, I didn't really mention this to you guys, but my theme was kind of <laughs> <laughs> Great. all new stuff that we're kind of doing now. Uh -huh. um, and this fall soccer stuff's a little bit, it's, it's kind of new because we're not doing um, soccer teams anymore. What? That's right. It's gone. Why? It's, we we want to focus more on teaching the kids the right way to play. And so we're, we partnered with that ACE soccer group, and what we're doing is more of a um, training skill development uh, program. And then hopefully what that does is eventually leads them into, um, into getting into leagues and stuff like that, but with more skill uh, up front as opposed to kind of learning it on the fly from when you start getting to qualified coaching later on in your years. So, you know, we have Coach Scott is back always popular doing his <laughs> program on Saturdays. And that one is filling up quick as it always does. Cause he's a blast. Uh, but parents, if you do sign up for that, be ready to participate. He, he <laughs> likes to make sure the parents are out there. Um, and then for the older groups, the 2010 to birth year, 2012, and then 2006 to 2009, that's a soccer is going to run all of those. So that's going to be all, uh, skill stuff and then they will have some scrimmages um, and stuff like that and then I think they kind of do like an end of the year tournament a little bit um, but but it's more skill development well, that's going to be my question is you know most of the time they you're hoping that you get to do I mean you want to do the training and stuff certainly right. but you also want to play some games and, and they fun. yeah and so they make sure it's I mean they have a blast they play all kinds of um, soccer games that kind of teach you the skills while having a lot of fun um, so it's it's a it's a good time out there. The kids are engaged the entire time, and they get a lot more touches than they would, say, if they were playing a game um, out on the field and, you know, having to sub in and stuff like that. This is – everybody has a ball. So, I mean, everybody's getting touches the entire time they're out there. Good. Good mm -hmm. to hear. Well, I hope it works out, and uh, yeah. we'll come back, and we'll, uh, we'll see uh, if it worked out for you. Thanks. Come in the month. Thanks. All right. See you next week. <laughs> no, we're not leaving just yet. Oh. I mean, you're coming and come back here. Or, okay. Or tell us going on all right what else we got this one <laughs> is, is a, I, I don't even know where where this one's going this one so, is new um, man it's take it's, it take it home yeah what so we wonderful wizardly wands so we had uh, an instructor approach us and she uh does like homemade wands and i was like oh that sounds pretty cool i want one and so she, we put together this program. After I made one, yeah. then we put this program together. Yeah, so I made one. It was trash. So I'm, I need kids to come make them for me. Mm -hmm. uh, but no, it's, um, it's put on uh, by uh, Tina Mancusi, and she's going to be running this class um, Wednesday and Thursday, September 12th and 13th, uh, here at the Fitchburg Community Center. And she'll bring all the supplies and stuff, and the kids kind of create their own magical wands. Awesome. Wow. How fun. We'll get Andrew signed up for this. He loves this stuff. Oh, yeah. I've seen it. Well, he's got a couple. He's got a Oh, does he? Oh, yeah. I didn't even know that. Mm -hmm. uh, all right. How about this pop-up preschool? <laughs> pop-up preschool. This is new as well. See? New. Bringing new stuff in. That's I like right. when you bring new stuff yes. in. Yes. So um, we were approached by a group, and they do um, kind of what, what it says, pop-up preschools, where they go to different locations, and it's like a couple hours, uh, one day a week, and it's a way to kind of introduce kids uh, to that school atmosphere and get them comfortable meeting new people and, and then uh, kind of learning how pre-K, 4K, kindergarten, how that kind of runs during the day. Uh, so this one is for ages 3 to 6 on Thursdays from October 11th to November 15th. And that, again, will be here at the Fitchburg Community Center. Uh, and they'll, again, provide everything. So you just bring the little ones, um, and you can 
hang out or drop them off. Either one is fine. Uh, the instructors are all certified um, to be instructors for like 4K and kindergarten. They're all former teachers. So pretty cool little program we're trying out here. Yeah, you think it's more for um, kids who have maybe not been in a daycare format? Right. Like maybe right. they've been at home, that sort of thing? Yep, that's gotcha. exactly who it's kind of targeting. Fantastic. All yeah. right, we've been uh, previewing this one for a little bit, uh, the community party at Nines Rings Golf Course Yeah. this weekend. Yeah, this is, this is looking like a good time. They're going to have, well, the bounce houses are out there. Those are always awesome. Um, they stole the idea from you guys. I know. They totally did. And then free food? We can't even do that. That's crazy. <laughs> so I'll be there. Uh, so I'll be there. I, I'll mean, check in I know they're having like a band out there. And First Tee, I, I know, is kind of running running the majority of it, I believe. Um, AJ over there, I've been talking to him a few times. And that's a great program they got going. And so this is, this is a great opportunity to get the family out there for a family fun day. Yeah, it's going to be a good time. Hopefully you can make it out there. Yeah, this Saturday. It's going to be good. All right, last but not least, the uh, Western Hills Park Dream Course. Oh, yeah, be, man. Uh, cutting some ribbon here soon. Yeah, we got some – we might have some stuff to – Talk about later on in the year about some stuff we want to do here. Yeah, just a little foreshadowing. But uh, ribbon cutting, Wednesday, next week, September 12th. Uh, and then this will be at 4 p.m. Very cool court. I mean, it looks great in the pictures, but when you see it in person, it's like, it looks pow. sharp. Yeah, it pops out. Yeah, it's pretty smooth. Perfect. Yeah, we'll be out at that event uh, and bring you some of that ribbon cutting as well. So great. Th there you go. That is uh, Tony King, the king. Well, good luck uh, Good luck with all the new programs. And certainly if you want to find out more information, Tony, where do you go? FitchburgWI.gov slash recreation or call me 270-4284. Fantastic. There you go. That is the king. We need to take a quick break. We'll wrap up the show next. You are watching Talking Fitchburg. <laughs> 